I've seen that he's not on my level. I've seen he's not on my level. It's not close, and I can't wait to get in there tomorrow and show it. It's Jamal Hill. It's okay, Jamal okay. Hill. I, I... Jamal just, I don't think is scared. Jamal is on knockout power. <laughs> Scary knockout power as well. I, I, I like his accuracy. I like the power in his hands. I like his aggressiveness, and I like how he's willing to fight Alex on his terms. I... I've just got a feeling there's something in the air. Jamal Hill is going to get it done, and he's going to put him to sleep. I'm going to go Jamal by KO. First two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, I don't, I don't know that I know what I'm talking about because <laughs> we try to predict all these fights. Hey, the and, prediction and, game is tough. It's, it's over. <laughs> Jamal Hill. I don't want you to give up your game plan, but um, what do you? Like when you're breaking this fight down, you're looking at him, you're watching. What do you think he's? Where do you think he's most dangerous? It's easy to say. He got a big left hook, but I, I feel like you're looking way deeper than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think Jamal is uh, being overlooked. I think Jamal Hill is getting massively, massively overlooked. I've been overlooked. My skills and what I've done in this sport has been disrespected. This fight needed to happen to show the world that Jamal Hill is the best striker in the UFC. You know, everybody's gonna see a Saturday night. It's, it's, there's gonna be no question after that. I think something that gets missed with you a lot um, is how smart you are and, and like how high your fight IQ is. I think Jamal Hill is a solid technician. He wins the foot battle a lot. <laughs> Controls the range really well. Everybody thinks Alex is this amazing striker, um, and at the end of the day, it, Jamal is levels above Alex Pereira. I think if I come at the best of my abilities, then I win. It's like there's no question, there's no doubt in my mind. Me at my at my absolute best beats Alex Pereira every day of the week. Who is someone Alex Pereira has just outclassed in a fight? Not just knocked out but like outclassed in the fight until he knocks them out. With his skill set, he's essentially a kickboxer that came into MMA. Well, he needs to be a little bit more unpredictable. I think one of his, one of his strengths is that he is so good at a couple things. He's very basic. I'm not saying that he's that it's simple or what he does is easy, but it's very basic. You can break it down. It's, it's straight punches, it's left hooks, and it's nasty leg kicks. He's going to have to move his head off the center line a little bit more than he typically does because, in my opinion, I think Jamal Hill matches him in the power. I think Jamal Hill might naturally hit harder. I agree. I agree. As far as just pure punching power, 100%. Jamal is on knockout power. Scary knockout power as well. Boxing punching power, I think it's going to be Jamal Hill, man. He just flatlines people and he flatlines bigger guys for longer. <laughs> I see something in the way he believes that if I touch this guy, I will put him out. My argument is I've seen one guy get knocked out. I have not seen the other guy get knocked out. So and who do you think punches harder, Izzy or Jamal Hill? I feel like he has a knockout power and I'm gonna side with Jamal Hill. I'm gonna go Jamal by KO. I think he's gonna be in the first, first two and a half. And I think, to be honest, I think he's gonna surprise a lot of people. He's gonna win the fight late on. We're both saying that he's probably gonna go out there and knock out one of the best strikers that this generation has ever seen. We getting it in. When you step in there with me, ain't nothing to talk about, ain't nothing to say. It's all right here, and I'm on your ass. All three of us just picked a basketball player to be the kickboxer. I mean, this has really never happened before. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that I know what I'm talking about because <laughs> we try to predict all these fights. Hey, the prediction and, and game is tough. It's oh, my God. The difference on this left hook was, 
uh, Alex Pereira changed the angle. Typically, he goes high elbow, high elbow knuckles up, right? That's usually how he throws that big, nasty left hook, and he closes the distance. This one, he loaded up big like he was throwing right hand, and he it, it was like a, a uppercut, a upper shovel, like a shovel hook. It's over. And so he just changed the angle. Jamal, he's seen the hook, like the lead hand coming, but when he went to cover, it just came right up in front of him, and he, and, and he went down. He's got crazy power in his hands. Anybody's going to have a hard time absorbing that shot. We all said that Jamal Hill was going to win this fight. We all said that he was going to knock him out. Of course, he was the one that got knocked out. Israel said, no, no, Jamal Hill is going to knock out Alex Pereira as well. Jamal Hill's team had not planned on being walked down. That was not their idea. The idea was to not let Alex Pereira get settled and, and be able to kind of look at a mirror and react to what you're doing. You have to back that guy up. You can't let him get settled. And you damn sure can't let him walk you down where you're trying to fight going backwards. You absolutely cannot do that. They knew that. Jamal knew that. And there's nothing he could, he could do about it when it, when, when it came time to fight. He's most dangerous whenever he whenever he's got confidence. When he's got that confidence to come forward, to come forward, you know, and almost a little reckless. So his recklessness is part of what makes him makes him beautiful. It also is what makes him just dangerous, mm -hmm. just dangerous, you know. So how do you deal with that? Take it away from him. Don't man, don't let him feel comfortable. Do you think that this fight is dictated at the very beginning? It starts there. Yeah. It starts there. It's, like it's, the most it's, important start, part of yeah. uh, of the fight is figuring out who's going to dictate the how range, the pace, the aggressiveness. Starts right away. Yeah, but that's a fight. That's a fight. That's a fight anyway. Well, not dude. always. Sometimes some, you can. Yeah, sometimes you can you feel know. out. I feel like you guys. There's not going to be a lot of feeling out with you guys. I think. I think that's a dangerous place for both of you. I feel out every. I, I, there's always a feel out. Like, even if it come in and we come in and we're and I and it's a, I'm always feeling. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't do anything reckless. I don't do anything just crazy. You know what I mean? Or without without a certain thought process to it. So, yeah.